Hello my viewers and welcome back to another unboxing, viewing and testing and I have this Parkside 20 volt 2 ampere hours battery and I was wondering myself how can I increase the capacity? Let's make it 16 ampere hours. Well to do that first of all you need to remove the four screws at the bottom. I have done that. Remove the upper cover. Remove the board that has a button so as uh, the battery capacity. Remove uh, the batteries with the board and that was all. We can see here the board and we have five cells, uh, 18 650 lithium cells. I need another 35 cells just to have 16 amber hours battery. And let's start with this seven. I need to connect this uh, seven cells. These batteries are from all the laptop batteries. I have choose the best of these batteries. There are Samsung, LG and other brands and I need total 35 batteries. Now let's start by connecting in parallel. That means I will connect all the positive and all the negative together. I will do that first of all with a tape. And that is uh, one pack of seven uh, batteries. I need another four, that means total 35. Now, you need a copper tape. Because my copper tape it is uh, thinner, I will install three times copper tape at the same position. At the positive at this time. Okay, nice, that was all. And the same thing you need to do and for the negative. Of course, if you want, you can use a nickel plate with spot welder. I don't have at this time spot welder. That's why I'm using this method. Okay, nice. And then in the end, we will have something like that. <laughs> this is the final product. Well made. It weighs about 1.9 kilogram. <laughs> wow, it is huge. Total here we have 35 batteries plus another five from uh, the board. Total 40 batteries makes 16 amber hours battery. Wow, it's so huge. Well, definitely the way it is huge. Uh, I'm not sure you can use this with any power tool from Parkside. That tool will be heavier than usual and it will not be so easy to make your job to work with this tool. Now, the reason that I have made this battery, it is because I want to use this adapter you can use this adapter with any Parkside battery. I have made a video, you can check uh, the video about this adapter down below the description or after the end of this video. It is very interesting. You can have uh, with input 20 volt from the Parkside battery to 5 volt output each of these ports 2.4 amps. That is great. Well, I need to power on my security alarm at my car. It is a Wi-Fi smart security alarm and with a SIM card and another camera that I have at my car. So that's how uh, they will have power and all the time I can connect from my smartphone to these cameras. Of course, only when I am on my home. So, because I don't want to use my car battery, definitely it will drain my car battery with these two devices. I have decided to make this huge uh, power bank, yeah why not, and uh, power on these devices at my car. Now let me show you how it works. We have uh, the A uh, negative, then it goes to the B positive, B negative, 
to the A positive, A negative to the B positive, negative B to the A positive, and then from the negative A to the B positive. That is all the diagram how you need to connect five of these batteries here. And that you can see, of course, with the copper tape that I have. All that is being connected with five of these packs. We can see here are very good taped, holding very well. It is so durable. And at the A, we can see how it looks. Nice. Tape it everything. I like it. <laughs> now, how long it takes to charge this battery? Well, it takes about uh, three and a half hours because I'm using the 65 watt, 20.5 volt, 2.4 amp Parkside charger. Or if you want, you can choose a uh, fast charger, 4.5 amp. It will take less time to charge this uh, battery. Now, next, what we can do, because I have used this uh, copper tape, I'm not so sure if it will hold, that's why I'm going to use this compressive polyester. Perfect. Same. And here, at the middle, perfect. I will install tape here just to cover these connections. I'm sorry that I didn't show you how to make all these connections with the five of these packs, but with a diagram that I show you here, the A positive, the B negative, you have an idea how you can do this project. Well, if you have any questions, you can leave down below the description. No problem, you can cover and the board. And the same thing we need to do in here. And of course, I will install, there it is and the cover at the top because I need to make the connection for the adapter. And then before connecting this uh, plastic at the top, I need to use this homemade. <laughs> oh, I will install that here inside. That's how I can compress all these batteries with a copper tape and it will be more secure and bound it all together without a problem. We need to make some adjustments. I'm using zip types just to hold these two woods together. And after finishing with the zip types, I think we are okay. I think it's looking great. Wow, it's so heavy. <laughs> Let's cut and that. Beautiful. Now let's connect and the cover. There's a cover. Obviously that goes here to insert the board that it shows us the battery capacity. And there it is. And to hold the upper cover with some zip types, install the two screws here from the bottom cover, another two screws here. And with these uh, zip types, you can hold the upper cover 
with this uh, homemade DIY <laughs> cover for the batteries. I wish I have a 3D printer, make my job better. Printing a case, definitely it will be nicer. And then just connect this adapter, press a button, you can see we have uh, power. Of course it's working. Or you can connect the power tool. Can you imagine connect this vacuum here? Wow! <laughs> it's working! <laughs> but it is so heavy! <laughs> Hilarious! Struggle to disconnect with one hand. Well, as I said, I have made this uh, huge 16 amber hours uh, battery with a Parkside board and uh, another five cells from Parkside to connect this adapter and give power to my security alarm at my car and to my security camera at my car because they are smart devices, they have Wi-Fi and the power consumption, it is huge. I can connect at the battery car, it will drain my battery from my car. Nice, I like it. If you want to do something like that, well, just do it. And of course, it is very easy to charge this uh, battery, connect that here. I don't know if it will hold. Yes, it can hold. <laughs> and we can see red light, it is on, it's charging. Wow. <laughs> well, my viewers, that was all about. Until my next video, until my next project, well, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, you never know who may need it, and hit the notification bell because more videos in the future are coming, and you don't want to miss it. Have a nice and lovely day. Bye bye.